South Dakota State University has just won the speed event for both the women's and the men's categories, but it's not over yet. We have to see how they perform in the endurance race next. The course for the endurance race runs all around the university campus, with obstacles scattered throughout. Teams have two and a half hours to get as many laps in as possible. Despite a thunderstorm on the forecast, the event is still going ahead. The teams are just going to have to get a little wet. Make it go, make it go. And they're off. Vehicles are lined up in order of how they performed in the speed challenge, with South Dakota taking the first position. Say the biggest obstacle is some of those speed bump obstacles. We're mildly worried about the speed bump just because we didn't design to an increased height this year. We'll probably uh, go and scrape the bottom of our vehicle a little bit. I don't think that's going to be a big deal. We'll just put something on the bottom to resist the abrasion. With the speed bump out of the way, it's a straight stretch up to the next obstacle. A stop sign which may seem harmless, but it does present its own challenge. The most difficult part would be the stop and start. Low speed stability is our biggest weakness. It's kind of hard to come to a complete stop and start again on a recumbent bicycle. Coming up now is the hill climb. This is the obstacle that most teams are concerned about. Things that I'm worried about is the hill that we're going to go through. The uphill, uh, because again of our weight, this is maybe the most concerned one. Run for 30 minutes and having to go up a steep hill with our trike and it is heavier than a two wheel, I'd say that's probably gonna be the worst part of that. We've built it out of steel and our wells are pretty strong. Uh, turn radius is pretty good and brakes. We've been hitting the gym pretty hard to like have our legs get ready for those hills. Yeah, people don't realize these riders are tired. These are vehicles that are built by engineering students. They're not built by professionals. So sometimes your drivetrain may not be quite as good as you think it is, and it really presses the human power portion of this to get those vehicles up that hill. I think our limitation is not going to be the bike. It might be us. We haven't really been hitting the gym after, during this whole competition. Like the, getting the vehicle going is the hardest part of it. So if you have to stop remotely close to the beginning of the hill, we're gonna have a bit of an issue with that one. We're, we'd have to get out. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that there's no way you can recover. The endurance round continues in our next episode. Visit efes.asme.org and follow us on social media.